Hi everyone, A Hicken here again. Well, um, I've just checked all my teas, and uh, I've just noticed that um, one of my teas has malted. And as you can see on there, look, it's got OBT, which stands for Orange Baboon Tranchula, or the Orange Bitey thing. And um, here she is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, the Clasoros look absolutely huge. Um, didn't realise that she was going to malt, to be fair. Um, I've just used my um, trusty little uh, trusty little stick just to um, bring her, bring her out of her uh, out of a hide, so everybody can have a look. And that's where she's dug a uh, massive burrow all the way down there. And I've noticed just inside here there was um, part of the carapace was on the floor, so that me made me suggest that she's malted. Um, I've put a roach inside for to give her something to eat, and I didn't realise that she was going to malt anyway, which was a, a big mistake from my part. I should have checked first to see that she was okay. But um, she's looking absolutely beautiful. She's malted absolutely fine. Um, I bought this off my good friend, Jordan Smith. Only cost me £7, which was only around about an inch and a half, two inches now. So I'd say she's looking probably around about the mm, three, three and a half inch mark now. So yeah, guys, I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, want to show you this tea, orange baboon tranchula. Not the uh, nicest of tranchulas. Definitely not a um, starter species. But. Um, Usually, burrowing species, they usually bring the malt out um, after they've malted themselves. Anyway, they push it out themselves. So, I'm not too sure if she's ready to eat yet. Need to look at uh, the fangs. If the, flang, the fangs are like a jet black colour, then they're ready to eat after their malt. Usually, you give it around about 7 to 10 days. Wait for their uh, body to harden back up again. But yeah, she's looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching.